What's going on guys? So today we're gonna to be learning how to do that effect that you just saw. Really simple, really easy. It shouldn't take us longer than five minutes. Um, first you wanna do is have your scene selected at the bottom. For the sake of the, the tutorial, I did about two clips. Really it can be as long as you want, as short as you want. Um, first what you wanna do is have your logo on top of your clips like this. Try to make it a PNG or just have them send you a PNG and after you have it on top, we're gonna to make three copies. So pressing Option and holding on those clips, we're gonna drag up twice until we have three like this. And now what we wanna do is find in the Effects tab and find Draw Mask and just drag the Draw Mask on top of the first clip like this. And just make a kind of a rough mask around the bottom portion, which would be this part right here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you wanna make sure you're not in the logo like this. Stay on the outside and just go all the way around. Okay, and now that we have this part selected, we need to get the second half, but first, that'll be the second clip, so the one in the middle. And we're gonna to go to Draw Mask and drag that onto the second clip again, like we did the last one. And just Drag or just draw a draw, draw mask around the top part. And now that we have both the bottom part and the top part draw, uh, draw masked out, we're going to select both like this, double click, and press new compound clip. Just press OK. And what that did was take those two isolated clips and made them one, which will make it a lot easier when we get to the point where we start making it spin in a circle. But first, before we get to that, we have to select the middle part. So we're gonna drag, we're gonna tap this last clip of the logo, and again, drag the draw mask on top like this, and then make a draw mask around the logo in the middle. And now we have that selected, and we're going to make these a new compound clip. But before we do that, we have to make this spin first, so how we do that is we're gonna to go to the very first frame like this, and then we're gonna to go to transforms, and in rotation, we're gonna add a keyframe before we move it, and then we're gonna to go to the very last frame, which is about right, around here and we're going to on a rotation and transform we're going to move it around depending on how long your video is is how long is how many times you want to make this spin in a circle so if you don't like it the first time you'll just go back and change this part i think go around one more time i think that should be a good amount of times so i'm going to leave it about right there and then if we go back and watch it, you'll see it kind of spins at a pretty good pace. You don't want it to spin too fast, might make some of the viewers nauseous, but a little slow pace like this is probably about perfect. And after you get that to, to your liking, you're gonna select both clips like this and press new compound clip again. And then now you have a spinning logo. And if you want to put it in the bottom right corner, it's really easy. You just go to transform again. And then in scale all, you make it pretty small. I would go to the first frame to do this. And then in the X's, you can bring it over. I think that's still a little bit too big. So about right there. Bring it over in the X's, bring it down in the Y's so it's in a good position, like about there. And then when you press play, you should have a cool little spinning logo like this. 